Hello friends, this video on powers part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So what are exponents? So these are quantities that represent the power to which a given number is to be raised. So exponents tell us how many times can we use the number in multiplication. Let's take an example. Let's say 2 to the power 4. So what is exponent? So this 2 to the power 4 is exp exponent. Why? Now, especially the this number 4 is the exponent. Why? Because this number represents how many times can we use 2 in multiplication. So if, the, if your exponent is 4, that means you need to use 2 4 times in multiplication. So you will multiply 2 4 times. So here 2 is called the base and 4 is called the exponent or power. So sometimes we use the term power instead of exponent. So in similar way you, you can think of multiple examples. You talk about 10 to the power 2, here 2 is the exponent. It means that 10 should be used 2 times for multi during multiplication. You talk about 10 to the power 1, what does that mean? 10 has to be used only once. Now, if we talk about 10 to the power 0, what does that mean? That means that we are not going to use 10 even once for multiplication. So, your result would be 1. So, because you are not multiplying 10 even one time. So, 10 to the power 0 would be 1. So, in this fashion, uh, we can represent numbers, especially the bigger numbers and the smaller numbers as exponents or using powers of numbers. So let us look at this example. Now let's say that you have 1000 rupees, maybe in the form of some 10 rupees note. So you have some 1000 rupees. So different ways of representing it. So you have 1000 rupees. Now if you take one more bundle, now you have some 10,000 rupees. If you increase the amount more, you might even have a lakh increase the number more and you might even have 10 lakhs. So you see representing numbers with more zeros sometimes becomes inconvenient. Now if I suddenly show you this number and tell you how much is this, you actually need to count the number of zeros, units place, tens place, hundreds place and only then you'll be able to tell whether it is 1 lakh or 10 lakhs or 10,000. But instead of that, if we represent them like this, 10 to the power 3, 10 to the power 4, 10 to the power 5, 10 to the power 6, so that becomes more convenient. So in this fashion, we can make use of exponents very conveniently. Now you might be thinking that till now, whatever examples I have considered, I have only been considering the bigger numbers, very big numbers. So how do we represent the smaller numbers? So basically when we talk about exponents, we can have two types of exponents or two categories of exponents, positive exponent and negative exponent. So positive exponent is this, these, all these exponents, the, those numbers where the power is a positive number like 2 to the power 4, 10 to the power 2, 10 to the power 1, 10 to the power 0. So these are all positive exponents. So positive exponents help us to represent larger numbers. But when it comes to smaller numbers, we deal with negative exponents. Something like this, 10 raised to the power minus 4, 10 to the power minus 1, 2 to the power minus 6, 7 to the power minus 15. So you see in all these examples, the exponent is a negative number. So this is called a negative exponent. And negative exponent is useful to handle smaller numbers or to represent very small numbers or smaller numbers. So you, we have already learned about exponents and power, especially the positive exponents in our previous class, in your class 7. So this time we will focus more on the negative exponent. So the next question is how do we read negative exponents? Like we know how to read positive exponents, but how about negative exponents? So let's look at some examples. So if you have 10 to the power minus 5, so this is to be read as 10 to the power minus 5. Similarly, if you have this, how will you read this? 10 to the power minus 2. Yes, this is 10 to the power minus 2 or you can read it as 10 raised to the power minus 2. How will you read this? This is definitely 10 to the power minus 3. What is this? 2 to the power minus 9. 
this is minus 15 raised to the power minus 4. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.